Now in other news, Gabon's new military leader has been sworn in as the head of state today, less than a week after ousting the president in a coup d'etat. General Brice Oligo Nguema took the oath of office in front of a packed crowd inside the presidential palace. There he promised he would hold free and transparent elections after a transition period. Je jure. I swear before the people of Gabon that I will faithfully uphold the republican system, respect and ensure respect for the transition charter and the law, carry out my duties with the superior integrity of the people, preserve the democratic gains, the independence of the country and the integrity of the national territory. I solemnly undertake on my honor to do my utmost to achieve national unity. Et sur l'honneur à mettre tout en œuvre pour la réalisation de l'unité nationale. Well, let's get some analysis then on the developments in Gabon. Patrick Smith's on the line now. He's the editor in chief of the Africa Report. Good to have you on France 24 this afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Greetings. Hi. Um, General Nguema, as you heard there, promised to return power to the people of Gabon and to hold free mm. elections. Do, do you believe him? Will he honor those promises? You know, we've heard the mantra many times, uh, the military steam in, particularly the, the, the senior officers like uh, Nguema, a, a, a general, and, and say they, they've come to organize a corrective regime. And, uh, and that... Uh, is based on the fact that the elections last uh, last weekend were deemed to be absolutely unfree and unfair. Uh, well, what the opposition are asking is, well, if you're serious about handing over power, why don't you just um, actually respect the true results of the elections? Because they're known, and the, uh, the leader of the opposition coali coalition, uh, Alternance, uh, Mr. Albert Ondoosa, says that he, he won the elections. He's just saying, why doesn't the Electoral Commission just actually count the elections, release the data, and hand power back to the civilians? So I think the, the civilian politicians are very skeptical about General Ngema's intentions. I've heard from people close to the, uh, the Ancien Regime that Ngema is very politically ambitious and has his eyes on transforming himself into a civilian candidate organizing elections and then standing in those elections himself. Well, that's quite a thought. And you mentioned the former regime of Ali Bongo. His family have held power in Gabon until now for over 50 years. Do we that's know right. what um, what will now happen to them? He issued that rather extraordinary video last week where he appeared trapped in the presidential palace. Is he still there? Do we know his fate? Um, as far as we can find out, he's still there. He's being uh, well looked after. He's got his doctor at his side. Um, and I think he's doing a lot better than his son, uh, Nuruddin Valentin uh, Bongo, who is in uh, preventive uh, detention um, and apparently is answering some questions about how much money was stolen by the Ancien Regime and where that money now might be residing. Um, Ali Bembongo's wife, Sylvia, is being held separately, but said to be under house arrest, but isn't facing interrogation, as far as I can, I, I've heard from, uh, from sources in Libreville. What they do say is there are some negotiations in train with the Kingdom of Morocco, because the King Mohammed Sis was a close friend of the Bongo family, and he may be able to intercede on behalf of, certainly, of Ali Bembongo, the deposed president and his wife, Sylvie. I'm interested to get your take on how much popular support this new military government now has. But first of all, our team on the ground in Libreville have been out and about in the capital today, speaking to people today, getting some reaction. Let's listen, first of all, to um, what they've gathered. To remettre les choses à plat, une nouvelle constitution, we want to start afresh with a new constitution, a new electoral code, because the old one was dangerous. We want to be governed by robust laws and with people who have real values, not those we've been subjected to for 60 years. This isn't a coup d'etat. This isn't a coup d'etat. 
There has never been a coup d'etat in Gabon. We've been imprisoned for 56 years. For some years now, we've been looking for someone to save us. Do you know what we call General Ali in Gabon? The Messiah. He's our Messiah. He has saved us and he's going to lift us out of poverty. So that's just two voices from Libreville today, but both of those individuals saying they do, at least for the moment, have some um, degree of confidence in mm. the new military government. From the people you're speaking to, from the research that you've done, does that mm. seem to ring true across the country for the moment? Does General Nagema have popular support? Well, certain, certainly in the capital, Libreville, which has always been quite strong uh, in terms of uh, opposition politics, uh, I think less so in the Bongo family's own region in the north of the country. But I think the, the other factor is people are just re re, you know, relieved that it's the end of a 56-year-old dynasty and, they, and they're really hopeful about change. Um, but I think the first speaker you, you had on film um, was making an interesting point. Yeah, you know, if you're going to have a transition, it's got to be a proper constitutional transition uh, with, a, with a new basic laws drawn up and a new electoral commission and new rules for doing politics. Uh, what uh, I think uh, the civil society people are saying, and, they, and a group of them met uh, General Ngema over the weekend, that what they're saying is, why are you going to run it like a junta? Why don't you have a national government of transition in which civilians play a key role in terms of the decisions. Why should the military make all the decisions, and as they have in other countries, presumably try to make those decisions in their own interests? So I think for now, there's, there's qualified support for Ngema, but a lot of skepticism about the role in the military, of the military in future. Patrick Smith talking to us there from the Africa Report. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for your time. Cheers.